What's all this? Those fucking, wives are so annoying. Did on we that say fucking... driving Miss Lazy? Did we do that? No, uh, I don't I think, think so. so. She's it like, sounds familiar. She's like, I'm rich and I have to be driving somewhere. Dude, I thought so much <laughs> of that character. <laughs> I have to be driving somewhere. Yeah. I watched Cry Macho and it's just, it's a 91 year old man and the rape day labor character yeah. comes out. That's awesome. I think about it's just <laughs> they do Cry, that's an awesome cry name. Fatso and Clint Eastwood's like, they don't respect fat people. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We're people too. Oh, well, he's fat. Yeah, he's yeah. fat. I'm 900 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> I deserve to only pay for one ticket on the airplane. <laughs> and if you got a problem with that, you can suck my dick, pussy. <laughs> the, yeah, the worst part of seeing that movie was he, the the boy in the movie. Was what do you mean I'm at higher risk for COVID? <laughs> <laughs> if I get sick, it's because you didn't get vaccinated. The, Cry fat, so. Cry fat, so be good. What's the uh, premise of Cry Macho? He, he, Instead he, of you saying something that's not funny about the movie, why don't you feed me details? <laughs> I was, was going to try. try. I'll apply you it to Cry Macho. Sounds good to me. Sounds good to me. Go ahead, Adam. Uh, Take the premise is, is that he's an old cow poke, right? Breaks wild horses and stuff on Dwight Yoakam's farm. And Dwight Yoakam fires him for being past his prime. And then it flashes forward to a year later. And he says, I need you to get my Mexican son out of Mexico. And so, so he asks so he a favor. Him, he asks a favor of a of a, a 91-year-old man. Um, he certainly doesn't look spry. No, there's a very funny scene. Well, there's a lot of very funny scenes, but there's a very fun the, the heavy that they get sent to uh, to like take the boy back. The bad guy, the scary bad guy, he just he continuously just gets beaten up so easily the entire By movie. By Clint Eastwood? Yeah, Clint like <laughs> there's a scene where they're at a cockfight and Clint um the Federale storm it and then Clint just uh like waddles over to a just a, a uh like mm-hmm. a stack of boxes. Are you here to watch the cockfight? I'm here to eat the chicken. <laughs> when do you fry? The f- when do you fry? Him? He I thought they would have chicken nuggets <laughs> here. <laughs> he waddles over to I'm fucking fat. <laughs> he waddles over to a stack, a stack of boxes. I'm a fucking fat guy. <laughs> and I deserve when to be the right. one loses. Do you fucking roast it? Why well, want to eat the chickens? <laughs> I want to eat them. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, he waddles o- over to a, a like stack of boxes and hides behind it. And the federales are like, "Okay, no more seniors." We can here. see you. You're fat. <laughs> <laughs> we can see you behind the boxes. Okay, that's all the people here. Let's go. I'm b- I'm back here having sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking cocksucker. <laughs> well, that's the that's what I was gonna say before. Before you said, "Don't try a bit." But I, the boy says, "Which so many, thanks for not doing, by the way." Uh, I appreciate. But the boy, <laughs> the boy tries. Says I, look, so many. I think it's fair to say that in terms of you being funny on this show, you blew it. Okay, a couple of I years know, ago. I so. know, I know, I know. It's 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 incredibly. You set them up, easy. we knock them down. It's incredibly. Don't easy forget to the, destroy. Don't ever forget. Them. I won't forget. It. <laughs> That's why we got you the sign to wear on your neck. <laughs> yep. It says, don't ever forget. Don't forget. You're only here to set mm-hmm. up bits. <laughs> so the boy, the boy. It go- looks nice on you, by the, the way. The boy goes, yeah. thank your, you. Your little it. sign looks nice on <laughs> you. Yeah, I'm, in, I'm wearing the AOC tax the, dr- <laughs> yeah. tax the rich dress. I brought my own bib to the cockfight. <laughs> <laughs> so the boy travels around with his rooster, his mm. cock. His oh, cockfighting rooster just, named Macho. Just, just fucking because he Clint wants, Eastwood on, he's on social media and he's like, eat the rich. You had me at eat. <laughs> <laughs> sure, I mean, fat, Oh, uh, the characters on so on Twitter? Well, yeah, yeah from fat, 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 He's like a fat body positive. He's like an actor. op-ed, yeah, gotcha, gotcha, Lindy gotcha. West style, yeah. That was my entry point into socialism. <laughs> Eat the rich one, rich chocolate frosting. <laughs> Double rich chocolate frosting. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, you mean literal rich people? Yeah, oh, but I I'm guess. Fine by me. <laughs> I guess if there's a sauce involved. If you dip him in sauce, I'll eat fucking anything. <laughs> so he's with Macho. 
Yeah, he takes his chicken around, and then the boy just... What's your name, Nacho? <laughs> no, it's, it's Macho, Senor, it's Macho. <laughs> All right, I guess. He puts down a fork and knife. <laughs> yeah, like in a cartoon when somebody starts looking like a turkey. Yeah, you almost ate me, Senor. <laughs> I've eaten so many people in my life, it's all a blur. <laughs> Uh, so macho, what happens to macho, Adam? Well, I, I mean, I, what I was going to say, which has kind of been already done. was Shut uh, up. Yeah, <laughs> which was that the boy says stuff that just I was, ex- you expect the grand. Go, go to the kitchen and get me a piece of bread. <laughs> I just, in my mind, expected the Grand Torino guy. To go bring me a slice of bread. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I need a slice of bread. <laughs> Um, the other great thing that he writes into the movie, much like the mule, is that women just need to fuck. They want to fuck him. His ninety-one-year-old ass, That's and awesome. he, so he turns down pussy uh, one time, and then uh, the second time he meets a chick, turns down the pussy. But at the end, he goes back for the pussy. Oh, so he turns down pussy twice, but he gets it the third time. He, well, he gets. He goes back for the second, the second uh, piece of pussy pie. Do we see? Does he have a sex scene? Um, no. Unlike the mule, he does not have <laughs> no, a threesome <laughs> and a second. I think maybe two threesomes, if I remember <laughs> that movie correctly. Now he's ninety-one. He's a little bit too yeah. too old for that. You know. Damn. But he's just, I mean, it is, it's like Seagal not being able to move anymore. It's just so funny to see. And, but it's like, you know, kind of in some Seagal ways. Seagal would be great for Cry Fat, so. Oh, so. He'd be yeah. the best. Cry Fat, yeah. is perfect for yeah. Seagal. Seagal would be. Okay. <laughs> just him in a motorized wheelchair going through a building, just like doing yeah, karate dude, with one arm. I yeah. you know? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone doing, like, everyone jumping like eight feet in the air, doing yeah. a flip. Yeah, I mean, that literally happens in this movie where he just does an old man punch and the guy flies back. Can we stop at Chipotle? (laughs) (laughs) I need a burrito. I need a burrito. What do you mean you don't have Chipotle in Mexico? (laughs) You don't have Chipotle, you crazy bitch. (laughs) Get back in the kitchen. And don't come out until you have a piece of bread in your hand. (laughs) And dessert. I need a piece of bread every hour. I've gotten into having pieces of bread as a snack. <laughs> it's healthy. It's whole wheat bread. It's not that bad. For Naturally you. sweetened with fruit juices. <laughs> I soak a piece of bread in applesauce <laughs> and then I dry it out. <laughs> and it's healthy. <laughs> I'm not overeating. I'm having a healthy snack, you fucking bitch. It's whole grains. Does he get the boy back to his dad? Yeah. Which is like also questionable because the dad is not a good guy and he makes it very clear he's not a good guy, but... I guess the morality of the movie is it's better to get, be better to be with a deadbeat dad than live in Mexico. Of course, of course. <laughs> but also with a deadbeat mom, so yeah. it's kind of a. His movies are so fun. Like the next one's just gonna be about a guy that lives in Queens. He's a million years old, collects Nazi memorabilia, and pushes people into train tracks. <laughs> yeah. And then his neighbor is like, their son is being molested, and it's his job to push the pedophile onto the train tracks. <laughs> <laughs> And then in the end, they turn out to be a good guy. But I was good the whole I li- time. I like a lot of his movie. A lot of his movies. Oh, do you? Yeah. Do you? Like what? I watched uh, No No Homo. I watched The Bridges of Madison County not too long ago, and it was a real tearjerker. I what about say. Million Dollar Baby? That is also a real tearjerker. Mm-hmm. A very good movie. I listen. I Richard good. Jewell was awesome. I didn't become the king of bitch boxing just to have some dumb <laughs> whore break her fucking neck on a stool. Yeah, well, there's a stupid ending. You gotta become. It's really sad. He has to kill it's her. It's a fucking stupid ending. She's what her her fucking white trash family takes advantage of of all one the of, money. One of the that best moments makes. in my life. And he has to go back and kill her. I met Why her. does she have to die? Because her life is fucking hell. She's living who, in First pain. of all, who breaks their fucking neck on a boxing oh, stool? Get the fuck out of here. One of the best moments of my life. It was an accident. Stupid. Best moments of my life. It was an accident. 